All right, quick video this morning on LS swaps. This is a 48 olds LS swaps alternator wiring. So, if you take regular 12 volts, it's the second pin when you're looking at this um, plug. When you're looking at the little flipper, it's the second one from the left. If you ride this just to 12 volts, it's the exciter wire. If you use like an aftermarket harness that says exciter wire, um, it just gets 12 volts. The LS alternators, they take 12 volts, but they also um, are wired through the existing computer and it's, um, it's variable. So depending on how much juice your battery requires, your car requires, it will change the level. It varies the level of output from the alternator. If you just uh, hook this up to 12 volts, it's basically juicing this up the whole time like a kid on ADD. And it'll burn them out really quickly. So if you're burning out a lot of alternators, um, that's probably what's going on. So what I've done is just put a resistor in line. Uh, it was $7 for like 100 of them off Amazon and that basically limits this to where it doesn't put out full but it just puts it out at a good safe level instead of uh, overworking it all the time so that's what I've done there I haven't hooked my actual power wire back up no, that's what I'm about to do I'm just getting this back on because I burn up my alternator doing the same thing so that is what to do make sure you put that resistor in line to, uh, to get it going. If you're using the original uh, harness and computer, you can still use that, that um, wire. You don't have to put the harness in because the computer will still um, regulate that itself. 